Today we're going to prepare asado de boda. This recipe is very popular in Zacatecas, which is where I'm from. It's traditionally served at weddings, baptisms, quinceañeras, but in this case, we're going to prepare it for a Christmas Eve dinner. For this recipe, we need three pounds of pork diced into one inch pieces like these. Half a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, five to seven ounces of piloncillo, one disc of Mexican chocolate, three peppercorns, about three to four allspice berries, three to four whole cloves, four whole garlic cloves, two garlic cloves finely minced, and for peppers, we're going to use eight chile guajillo seeded and divined, two chile anchos, a fourth of an onion roughly chopped, and one cinnamon stick. Start by seasoning the pork with salt and set it aside for about 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to heat up a small amount of olive oil over medium heat, add in the peppers, the cinnamon stick, the onion, the seasonings, and the whole garlic cloves. Lightly fry them over medium heat for about one to two minutes. Lightly frying the peppers first is going to enhance the flavor of the peppers and it's going to give your sauce a much richer flavor. During the process, make sure to move the peppers around frequently. You don't want the peppers to burn, otherwise you're going to end up with a bitter sauce. Once they're nice and fragrant, add two cups of water. Bring to a simmer, remove it from the burner and cover for 15 to 20 minutes. In a separate pan, melt three tablespoons of manteca. Add in the pork half a cup of water, and the minced garlic cloves. Mix in the garlic and cover for 30 to 40 minutes over medium-high heat. Make sure to check on it every 10 minutes to move the meat around. After 30 to 40 minutes, add in the piloncillo and the orange juice, and simmer for an additional 15 to 20 minutes or until the piloncillo is completely dissolved. Meanwhile, we're going to prepare the sauce by adding all the ingredients to the blender, including the broth. To thicken the sauce, you can add a handful of galletas maria or half a bolillo lightly toasted. I personally don't like to add it because the peppers we're using gives it enough thickness. Blend on high for a good minute or until all the peppers are well broken down. Then add in the chocolate. Depending on the blender that you're using, you can choose to strain it before adding it to the rest of the ingredients. Once the piloncillo is completely dissolved and the pork has a light caramel texture, mix in the sauce from the blender and add an additional one and a half to two cups of water or chicken broth to adjust the thickness. Bring to a simmer and simmer for an additional 15 to 20 minutes over low heat. This recipe tastes very similar to mole, but the recipe is a lot less complicated. Serve with a side of red or white rice and enjoy.